Welcome back, graduates. So today I'm going to show you how you can upload a GIF uh, to your navigation. Uh, so this is a moving uh, logo, and uh, today we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, so this is a file. This is a file as a GIF instead of a SVG, and so that means that it is moving and animated. Uh, there are a couple steps uh, to do this. So uh, first and foremost, you're going to need your business name and also uh, your logo. Once you have your logo, you can take apart each of the elements and then uh, create it into one seamlessly uh, animation. Today, I am going to show you through Photoshop how you can do this. As a leverage show uh, Photoshop, if you do have it, uh, there are other free uh, GIF uh, uh, softwares that you can create as well and then um, just uh, save it as a GIF and then upload uh, as a logo in your navigation. Uh, so today we're going to uh, give you step by step on how to do this and again this works for any theme it's not just uh, our theme as well. So what it essentially will look like is this um, and it really uh, does a really great job captivating and capturing the audience a little movement here and there and really uh, showing that this is uh, the brand uh, and it's clean it's animated um, and let's get right into it. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go in and you're gonna open uh, Photoshop here. So I have uh, Photoshop and what you're gonna wanna do is uh, first, let's go in and uh, let's go and take apart each. So what you wanna do first is if you have your, uh, there we go. So if you have, I'm gonna start it from brand new. If you have, uh, let's say your logo right here, you're gonna go into uh, downloads here or wherever your uh, logo is. So let's just go into uh, logo. Here's my logo. So what I need to do is I need to go in and save each of the files as a separate PNG. Uh, so what I want to do is go into my erase and I'm just going to start uh, erasing each one of these. And then I would go in and click save. T uh, uh, save as a PNG. So just like this in each of these. Now you can go back. Uh, there might be an easier way for you, but then the next one is going to be uh, this element. And then and then you're going to want to save for each of the characters in that. So what that will look like is like this. PNG, E, C, O, M, F, I, or whatever your name is, whatever your, whatever, uh, however long, and the different elements in design for your logo that you want animated. Uh, once you get into that, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to uh, go into Photoshop here. Uh, so go into Photoshop and click on uh, files and then you're going to go into scripts. So this is going to, after you save each of the, uh, the character elements, you're going to go in and you're going to go into script and then you're going to go in and you're going to go to load files into a stack. So once you do that, another window is going to populate and it's going to look like this. Once you um, get this window, you're going to go in and you're going to click browse and you're just going to open up the uh, the letters that I have. So it's going to be E C O M F I F Y. So it's going to be these seven right here. And I already have them organized um, and make sure to name them so you kind of identify one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the steps. I'm going to click OK and then uh, you'll see kind of some on the uh, right side here, how it populates, how it's jumping to the steps. So you're uploading mass quantity of files right here. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your view and you're going to go um, into your timeline right over here, timeline. And once that creates that, once then creates a timeline for you to uh, create. And again, um, you can go in create frame animation. Once you do that, you can go into each one of these and so what I want is a blank plate of it saying Ecomify. So E and then C. So I want first E. So that's the E. Now I'm going to go and click down here at the very bottom. I'm going to do the next one. So that's going to be E, C. I'm going to do another one. That's going to be my O. And just keep going until you see the uh, design that you want uh, right here. Uh, oops. Um, now... If you make a mistake, you can always delete. So I think I did make a mistake. So E C O, I'm gonna do M I, I. Then I can do this one and make sure not to skip any of the steps, uh, depending on that. And then there we go. So now what I can do is in my timeline, I can go in uh, 
click on play. So that might be a bit too fast. So what you can do is in each of the cards, you can go in and, uh, you know, slow it down a little bit to each of them. Make sure they apply. So that's what we're going to do. And then, so after two, after two, now let's play it again. And it might be, it's going to be a lot nicer. So you'll see the reason why this jumped to OM. Oh, notice how it jumped to OM. It's because I have the image here as OM, I believe. E, C, yeah, so I jumped from here to OM. So we can start it over, but you're, uh, at least you got that sense of the idea. So next, what I'm going to do is I have all of this and I'm going to go into my file and I'm going to export. And I'm going to export as a web uh, legacy. I'm going to keep it as, um, if, keep it as this, except for one thing I'm going to change is I'm going to change it to GIF. So once you keep it to GIF, you want to keep as max colors as you can for 260 or uh, 256. So keep everything the same and transparency. Once you get that, you're going to go and click save. Remember to name the file. So I'm just going to name this eco eco logo just so I can uh, find it real quick. Uh, then after that, I'm going to go back out here. And so now this works again with any theme. Uh, you can go and upload it in the navigation here. Um, sometimes the navigation is at the bottom, sometimes depending on the theme. But here it's at the top, uh, which is respectfully the correct place. So I'm going to go into my navigation and I'm going to scroll to where I see my desktop menu. And uh, right here, this is a different menu. So I'm just going to go uh, remove this and I'm going to go and upload a new one. This is my new one, Eco Logo, what I just created. So hopefully that will upload. You can already see in the preview what it's going to look like. Remember that this is the correct one that I just created because of the file name. And also I skipped accidentally the OM part. So once I uh, click that, there we go. And there's my animation. It looks awesome and it's inviting and it gives a little bit of your customers to kind of see and, uh, and uh, see further down what you might be offering for your store. If already, first and foremost, your customers are saying, oh, wow, they really took time to, uh, to you know, customize and, and create an animated logo. You can only imagine what they're selling and the benefits and, and uh, awesome products that they have then. And remember, if you do have a, uh, an awesome theme that does allow for a mobile image and a desktop image, you want to apply that also for the uh, mobile. But uh, that is how to create an animated uh, GIF uh, logo uh, on Photoshop for your Shopify theme. I hope this helps, and thank you so much.